So what we're talking about here is people get a little bit confused with uh, when they're using manual sliders. So there's a couple of ways to bring them up. One is to click on this, you go to manual. And on this side here, we have exposure. On this side over here, we have uh, focus. So if we don't want them anymore, we can just slide to the each one to the left. You can see they become locked. We just tap them again and then they will be unlocked. The other way of doing this is if you click and hold, they bring out the sliders like so. And on this side, what we can do, if we go into here and show that we can go to reactive, if I move the focus, for example, it'll go green. And you notice one thing here, that what I'm doing, it'll zoom in a little bit as I'm doing it. And the reason why it's doing that is if I go over here to interface, I have focus assist on. And I have, if I take that off, okay, and now I move this, you can just see the green of the trees as I'm in focus. Again, because I'm in reactive here. What you can do if you want to use that is go to interface come down to focus assist and you can choose two times three times or four times so what that will do for you is as you move in and you're moving this manually it'll zoom in and give you a better idea of what you're focusing on as you move it Like so, all right? So that's one thing right there. Now, the other thing that we can see is there is two little arms. Let's close, let's close this guy. Let's wipe that closed, okay? So it doesn't matter about that. Let's leave this somewhere. Um, you'll see that on this guy, there is a green arm and a magenta. And what that's doing for me is, let's say I want something over here that's in focus. And if I hold that and bring it out, I can use this to get that in focus. Like so. And then what I could do, I could just click on this orange button and see the red marker or magenta marker would go to that okay but let's say now i had something in the area here that i wanted then to set focus to so if i drag this on here and focus on this if i hold that again and now i'm near the green area i would just click on the orange line again and now what I could do is when I'm on the green line, the thing nearest to us is in focus. And if I click on the red, the background comes into focus. Again, we could do that like so. I would zoom in, in because I did focus assist on. If I turn that off over here, maybe like this and now i just go between here and here that's the two points and if i record that okay i would just hit these the green line and the lantern would be in focus and the red line and it would rack focus to the background I would just hit these, the green line and the lantern would be in focus and the red line and it would rack focus to the background. Now there's another way to do this. The other way of doing this is if you hit this plus 0.53, it brings up these sliders here. So the first thing to do, you'll notice that this guy, if I come over here, up over here, it's showing me this is where the nearest object is. 
and this is an infinity this is an infinity area back here so stuff that's further away on the top line so let's take a look at what we have again okay let's say I want it this is nearest to me so that's what I want to be in focus I can tap on that now if I click on this I want this guy to be where that's in focus and now what I can do is go off to here come over here bring this up click on this and then move this to where that that's in focus and then click on the plus on that and now if I just click on A to B it does the same thing I think this is easier than dealing with the lines Okay, so we can record right now on there. And then this is looking at the street and the trees. This is looking at the lantern. Street and the trees, looking at the lantern. Record right now on there. And then this is looking at the street and the trees. This is looking at the lantern. Street and the trees looking at the lantern. Now the other thing that you got on the bottom is do you want it to go much faster? I can pull really fast focus between the two or I can go down to be really slow towards the tortoise and then it takes a long time to go between the two. Just like so. So somewhere, wherever you want, your predetermined areas here. So that's how you can do your focus pull, or focus racking. All right. I'll take that out of the way. Now the other thing we have on the other side is press and hold. We have uh, the same thing if we're in Z. Here you can see we're in Z or Z. We have exactly the same thing. If we click on this, we can move this guy in zoom. So our zoom, we can set the value to be further out click on plus and then we can zoom in and then plus and now when we click it between A and B we're zooming in and out and you also have the speed underneath if you want to move the difference in zoom levels so you can go slower or faster okay so they work both the same but the other thing you have on the this side is that you have a shutter speed of its own if we drag this down so now if we click on this so now if we move this up and down the shutter speed is going to be affected. So if we want a value that, if we're shooting at 24 frames per second, then I want one over 48, I can set it like that, or I can change it to whatever I want. The other thing you have here is ISO. If we want the ISO to be higher, you can see that the sky is getting blown out or lower that will affect just the ISO and you see they both become locked up here and then the last one on the, over here is ISO and shutter speed 
both together. So they both become affected as you move this guy together. And don't worry that this doesn't make much sense to you right now. We're going to go through these settings as we move along in real life. And again, if you want to close them in another way, you can click on this and go back to normal radicals. And you see, if you, if you, if you unlock the circle, okay, your settings go back to whatever the, the phone thinks it should be. So if you hold this, see it locks it. Now we're going to move these guys to whatever we want. Okay, let's keep it in there. Okay, and then we close it. You want to leave that locked because that's where you want it. If I unlock it, see how it changes up the top here again. All right, so again, either way, whatever you want to do here, you just want to look at focus. Wherever it's green, it's in focus. This is where I want to focus, so I put that where I want it. Tap on it and hold it, bring it there, just to make sure. Okay, and I can close that like so. And if I got you, I'm on the top, I'm worried about a thing.